Good morning. Today is April the 29th and it is a Wednesday. And our lesson is called Members of God's Family. All right. What was the name of Abraham's son? Do you remember? Isaac. Okay, what does prophecy mean? See if you can cover it and say it. Telling about something that will happen before it happens. The Bible is written in two parts. Do you remember what they are? The Old and New Testament. What happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the burning fiery furnace? Go back and look if you don't know. What did God give Solomon? Great wisdom. About how many writers of the Bible are there? 40, but only one real author. Mark wrote a book called Mark, and it is in the New Testament. Mary was the mother of Jesus, who was his father. Did you guess God? Because that is correct. It shouldn't even be a guess. Okay, the shepherds and the wise men all came to Bethlehem to see Jesus, just not the same night. The wise men brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Incense is frankincense is incense. Um, Jesus grew up in Nazareth. He went to Jerusalem to the temple when he was 12, and Jesus had 12 disciples. After how many days did Jesus resurrect himself? After three days, he was resurrected. A martyr is someone who is killed because of what he believes in. King David wrote the Psalms, why? To praise God. And the Lord's Prayer is in the New Testament. That brings us to today's lesson. All through the Bible, you can read stories about families. Abraham, Moses, and Jesus all had earthly families. They also had a heavenly family. If you have accepted Jesus as your Savior, you are part of that same heavenly family. In other units, you've studied about the family of God. You've learned how believers are brothers and sisters in Christ. How do members of the family treat each other? First of all, they love each other. Jesus said that the first commandment was to love God, and the second commandment was to love your, our neighbor. Children of a family obey their parents because the parents are older and wiser. God is the father of your heavenly family, so you should obey him. People in a family should be able to count on each other. They should keep their promises. God always keeps his promises. Remember how he promised Abraham and Sarah a son, and then Isaac was born to them? Jesus promised us that one day we'll be with him in heaven, if you're saved. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. We can be sure there is a place for us in God's family forever. We can be sure because Jesus told us so. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How do you feel when you've done something wrong? I bet you know the answer to that. Sometimes a family does not always do what is right. Sometimes people fight and hurt each other. Jesus says that we should forgive each other. It is important to forgive and be forgiven. God will forgive our sins if we forgive those who sin against us. We read the Lord's Prayer. Listen carefully to the part about forgiveness. Right here, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou art... <laughs> That is not in KJV, huh? Okay, but it talks about forgiveness. Because Jesus died for our sins, we do not have to be punished. God wants to forgive us. We are his children. We do not always have to be ashamed for the wrong that we have done. All we have to do is ask God to forgive us, and we will feel better. After you become a Christian, you will still sin. Becoming a Christian doesn't make you perfect. Even the Apostle Paul said that sometimes he did things that were wrong, even when he wanted to do right. So what do we do? We can ask God to help us to be good. We can keep reading our Bibles so we know what God wants us to do. And we can decide that when we are tempted to do wrong, that we won't. When we fail, we need to ask God to forgive us. 
He can cleanse our hearts from every sin and set us back on the right track again. When we've done wrong, we should pray and ask God to help us do better. We should make a promise to ourselves to do better. If we pray for forgiveness, we can grow as Christians. We can become better children of God. We can give thanks and praise for the gifts that God has given us, and we can serve God and glorify him in this world. It's a wonderful thing to know that we are God's children and we will be his forever. It's wonderful to belong to God's family. Right here, you need to know why Jesus died. Very simple. He died for our sins.